I'm joined now by photographer Jason Alden and travel journalist and regular on the programme, Simon Calder. And you spend most of your time traveling, I'm sure both of you do, but Simon in particular. So is, is this professor right? Is this psychologist right? He is absolutely correct. It depresses me so much when I go to the great places in the world, the Taj Mahal, the Grand Canyon, Machu Picchu in Peru. And people aren't sitting there taking in the wondrous sight of uh, what man has achieved and the great power of nature. They're concentrating on this tiny image. They're concentrating on then sending that around the world to their friends and families to say, look, I'm here, as opposed to doing what travellers should be doing, which is making the most of their incredible surroundings. And Jason, what do you think? Because a lot of us, even going to concerts and stuff these days, you view what's happening through your digital screen rather than taking in what's in front of you. Uh, I don't agree with that. I think, I think in, 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 in the context of a holiday photograph, it at least gives people the opportunity to be creative. And, you know, we lead busy lives. It's hard to get that disconnect. Um, and, you know, it's, it, apart from that, it's a, it's a great way to um, help you interact with your environment. And I suppose, Simon, you know, if you're standing in front of the Taj Mahal, which you might never see again, you've got to try and record it somehow, haven't you? Well, yes, but you have to be disciplined. And what you should be doing is saying, right, I am going to devote maybe an hour at the start of the day or the end of the day just to photography. But the rest of the time, I'm going to take in the majesty of this place. Even coming to the News Talk Live studios tonight, I went across Westminster Bridge in the heart of tourist take London. A and there were people holding <laughs> up their tablets, taking pictures of Big Ben. And I just thought, this is ridiculous. Here you are in the middle of a great world city and you're holding up a piece of office equipment. Stop it and get on with enjoying your <laughs> surroundings okay. and indeed meeting the locals. Well, let's see how the expert does it, shall we? Jason, we've got some pictures okay. that you've taken on your travels. Um, talk us through this. Where's this? This is uh, on Brighton Beach. Very and, nice. you know, it, I mean, this is a really good example of, That's not again, in, 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 in <laughs> Japan here, just examples of being ready and being able to take pictures quickly. This was taken in Texas. Um, but, you know, if you can be ready, and here I've interacted with these people, which without a camera, I'm not sure I would have been able and this to. Gentleman, his hands are amazing. Exactly. He's a fisherman that I met in the Gulf of Mexico, and just being able to be able to speak yeah. to him enabled me to, you know, enrich my holiday experience rather than detract but from it. But do you it. not feel like it's a busman's holiday when you go abroad? Do you not want to put your, your, um, your camera down? Well, no. It, I mean, and, it, and it's, a, it's a heightened experience that I think photography really gives you. If you are creating great works of art, as I would say those are, then it's fantastic. But what too many people are doing is just living in their little bubble. They've even got their own music that they're listening to. Um, they're, they're taking pictures maybe on their phone, which they're instantly tweeting around the world. They are not opening themselves up to the sights, the sounds and the people. I'd, I'd argue that the camera draws them out of that. Ah. OK, let's have a look at some amateur shots. Some <laughs> okay. um, regular holidaymakers. We want to get your expert opinion, All both right. of you, of uh, course. Ooh. Now, where's okay. this, guys? Uh, well, this is, in, this is in Nice in, in the South France. There you go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, is OK, it right? it's, it's, it's not badly composed. Uh, as, as part as, as part, I mean, I, I think the key to all this is people need to be less prosaic uh, and to, you know, just just look around the And Simon, you've been to Nice lots of times well, before. Does that do it justice? No, of course it doesn't capture <laughs> anything like the, the widescreen panorama of the bay, the promenade des Anglais, the old town, the citadel on the hill, all these great places. And of course, you're not appreciating the sound of okay. the Mediterranean and, and the smells of the city. Let's carry on. We've got plenty more of these. Okay. Let's have another look. Another one. This is um, Copenhagen, which you wouldn't know. People are obsessed with taking pictures of their food, aren't they? What's yes. that about? Yes. For, for, Food is very much one of the key things that you always see online. Um, but again, you've got you've got to broaden this out and look at a selection. It's a bit nerdy, of though, isn't it? Come on. Well, yes. People have the option of, of turning it off and hiding it if they're on Facebook. You don't okay. have to log into it. Let's but have if a look you're at. Take a picture of a cake. Put it in context. Let's see the rest of Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah, okay. the, the rest of the context. Will be there. This is in sunny Tenerife. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah. wow. that's very beautiful, don't yeah. you think? That, that, that would maybe be one that wouldn't make the edit. <laughs> well, you can uh, see the balcony there. Actually, Simon, you use that to maybe not go on holiday there. I well, don't know. Quite, but there I you mean, go. <laughs> the sorts of images that Jason creates are those that make you want to be in a particular okay. place, and he does that very Before well. we finish tonight, top tips. What would you say to people who are watching tonight about to go on their holidays? Be ready, travel light, but overly just, just do a nice edit. Get up six till seven, photograph your heart out, then go and have a jolly good cup of coffee and talk to the locals. Six to seven in the morning. Six seven in the Ooh, morning. Yeah. Early starts for you then on holiday, Simon. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us thank tonight. You. A delight as ever.